Uh, okay, so I just got some inspiration and I wanted to get back in touch with you. Um, okay, so I feel like I started to go into how the devil counts and uses that to make a fool out of you. And then I just sort of like derailed that train and went in a different direction. Anyway, so um, we talked about the counting, how you're going like, you know, today I had four drinks and yesterday I had five drinks. So four is better than five and today's a good day or, you know, I want to feel better about myself. So I've been having five beers a day and I'm not going to have any beers. Like all of that business, the way that he's using that to make a fool of you is he's like showing off that he is. He's reduced you to that behavior that you have, um, you're for sure sold on it. It's clearly not healthy for you. It clearly is something that is like, like, you know, you have an issue with it. So therefore, you know, you do. Then he's just really, um, taking advantage of your weakness. Um, but I get that it's scary to sometimes attack, something of that magnitude. So, um, the reason why I suggest that you start slow is because, um, start on a broader issue, work your way in, because by the time you get to the issue that the devil is counting, I mean, he's almost dead by then. Like, it's not even a big deal. You've got this by that point. So, I mean, obviously from a, um, efficiency perspective, you know, it would be better if you, you know, if he's going to die either way, you might as well tackle like 10 little tasks rather than like one big major one that you've probably tried to tackle before in conventional ways. Um, and I'm assuming since you're watching this video, it really it hasn't been successful up to this point. So um, it may actually be something that you don't ever have to address. Um, you can definitely defeat him by working something smaller and then God takes care of the rest. Um, and I have to just tell you that you learn an entire whole like shit ton of stuff about yourself and you, um, really learn to embrace who you are and who you should be and who you intended on being before all the ugliness. So, um, it's a really long and arduous, but, um, fulfilling journey and it's not long at all. Um, it happens so quickly that like, I've got to be honest, like I, I got really, really tired of all of the lessons, like no more lessons. I cannot take any more lessons. Like this is just too much for me. <laughs> so, um, you know, obviously these things take on an inertia and as you're getting out of your loops and they're getting better and smaller and that's what we're wanting and we're trying to get through them. So that's how you, you know, you recognize the revolutions of the loops by what we talked about, um, similar phrases or um, maybe a similar meal that you continue to have every day, day and a half. Um, it's maybe like when you start to really notice the closeness of the patterns as you start to make progress, they have about a 12 hour turn time, um, which makes it really obvious. I mean, that's clearly like just 12 hours ago. I had somebody say that weird phrase to me, like, we just started our loop again. But when you're getting that close, like it's really just something that you're doing. Like you're interested. You want to know what positive way you can move forward. And it's been shown to you already that um, the way that we, the conventional way that we're used to tackling our problems may not be the smartest or easiest um, method. So um, there was another question. Oh, and so, okay, let's say you have your counting and then I wanted to just touch on one more time, the power of three. So, you know, here I am, I'm counting this huge problem. Like I just need a place to start. I just want to work in something small. I don't want the people around me to know necessarily that I'm working on something. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, that's where you start the power of three. So then you go, you know, like, okay, well, you know, I've been saying that I want to level my dishwasher. I've said it over three times. Like I have time this evening. Let's just go ahead and fix that. And, um, you know, that turns off that energy and that, that you were using to remind yourself to beat yourself up about not doing it and all that stuff. And, and at the end of the day, like you finished your project and believe it or not, that energy is then, you know, left open for God to speak to you. So, um, just give that a shot and I'll talk to you later. Bye.